everyone. Welcome to my crochet YouTube channel. Today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to crochet these lovely gift bags. They measure about nine inches long and about five inches across. And they're the perfect size to place a package of cookies or some treats, some peppermints, or even a gift, maybe an engagement ring. <laughs> They also make great place markers for your holiday party. You can lay it right on the table, put the silverware inside, and maybe add a couple of peppermints for after dinner. And then when your guests leave for the night, they can take their gift bag home and have a wonderful keepsake of the fun time that they had at your party. Now this is a free crochet pattern on my blog. And you can find that blog link in the notes underneath this video. To make these lovely gift bags, you're going to need about two and a half ounces of any kind of worsted weight number four yarn. I'm going to be using this Karen Simply Soft Party in the Silver Shimmer. I think it's just lovely and it's going to make a wonderful gift bag. These are both sparkle yarns. This one is a red heart shimmer and this one is the red heart with the sequins in it. Both are worsted weight number four yarns. We will be stitching up our gift bag with an eye crochet hook. It's an I9 which is a 5.50 millimeter crochet hook. You're also going to need a needle for weaving in your ends. Now, if you'll notice, on these two, the tops are a little bit different. On the blue one, I used a fuzzy yarn. On the red one, I used just an eyelash yarn. So you can use any of those that you would like. This is what your eyelash yarn looks like. And um, it works really nice. You'll need it for the pom-pom and the trim. And then you also have a choice of using a fuzzy yarn. And this is the fuzzy yarn. This one has a little bit of pearl in it. And that's what I'm going to be using today. I think it'll make a nice complement with my silver yarn. You're also going to need just a small amount of white worsted weight number four yarn. When we stitch the trim on the bag, we'll be using one strand of the worsted weight number four white and one strand of either the fuzzy or the eyelash yarn just so that it stays put nicely. We're going to be starting at the bottom of our gift bag and working our way up to the top. We're going to start with our slip knot And then we're going to chain 16 chains. There's 10, 13, 14, 15, and 16. So there's my 16 chains. I'm going to start the first row by placing one double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. Yarn over, one, two, three, four. Pull up a loop, yarn over, go through the first two, yarn over and go through the second two. And now I'm going to place one double crochet in each chain across until I reach this last chain. When we reach this last chain, we're going to stitch two double crochets. So I'm stitching one double crochet in each of the chains across until I reach that last double crochet.
So I've stitched my double crochets across nine to the last chain, so I'm going to stitch two double crochets in this last chain. Now that we've finished stitching on this side of the chain, we're going to do what is called working down the opposite or other side of the chain. And that means we're going to turn and work on this side of the chain. We originally stitched on this side and now we're going to stitch on the other side. So what we're going to do first is in this first chain, we're going to stitch two double crochets. And next, we're going to stitch one double crochet in each of the chains across, because these are chains where we began, and then we'll stitch two double crochets in this last chain. So one double crochet in each of the chains across, working down the opposite or other side of the chain. This is going to form a nice bottom edge of our bag so our goodies stay inside. All right, I've stitched back up, and now I'm back up to that last stitch, and I'm going to stitch two double crochets in that last chain. There we go. I finished my row, I stitched my last two double crochets, and now I'm going to join to the top of my chain three. Put your hook through the top, pull a loop through, then pull that loop through the loop that's already on your hook and chain three. And that's how that first row should look. We've stitched on both sides of the chain and then we have a couple extra stitches on each end just to help it smooth around and give us a nice foundation for our bag. For row two, all we're going to be doing is stitching one double crochet in each double crochet around. Our chain three counts as our first double crochet. So we'll double crochet in the next stitch. And we'll double crochet in each double crochet around, working all the way around the whole bottom of the bag. There we go. Some of these yarns that have the metallic thread running through can uh, cause it to, to get caught sometimes. Now I'm up to this first round of the edge where we went around and we're just going to go ahead and go right around placing one double crochet in each of those double crochet stitches. And you'll already see the bag start to curl up because that's what we want it to do to form a gift bag. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and finish this row. 
and join to my first chain three and then chain three. I finish stitching all around this row. I'm going to join to the top of the chain three with a slip stitch and chain three again. Now this is the outside of my bag, so I'm going to flip it out because that's the pretty side. You can decide which side, whether you like the inside or the outside, that's totally up to you, which uh, side you like better. But I like this side, so that's going to be the outside of my bag. On row three, we're going to do exactly what we did on row two. We're just going to place one double crochet in each double crochet around. And when I get back, I'm going to join again to the top of my chain three and chain three. There we go. Stitching double crochets all the way around. One double crochet in each double crochet Join to the top of the chain three and chain three. So here's our first three rows of our gift bag. I'll go ahead and make my chain three. This row we're going to be doing what's called the cross back row. Our chain three counts as our first double crochet. I'm going to double crochet in the next stitch. Then I'm going to wrap my yarn and go back to this stitch that was right before the chain three and finish stitching a double crochet. And you can see it has a little cross in it. When we come back around, we'll join to this double crochet. Actually, it's the chain three counting as our double crochet. All right, so what we're going to do next is here's where we placed our last stitch. So we're going to skip this next stitch and double crochet in the next two stitches. So there's one and two. Now we're going to cross back and stitch in this stitch that we skipped. So I yarned over, I'm going in that stitch and finishing my double crochet. And this is the way that this row will work. Here's the last stitch. We're going to skip the next one and make two double crochets, one in each of the next stitches. One and two. There's our two double crochets. And then we're going to cross, yarn over and cross back in that stitch we skipped and finish our double crochet. There's one we're going to skip, one double crochet in the next two. Then double crochet in the one we skipped. Here's where we stitched, here's where we skip, one double crochet in the next two. Yarn over and go back and stitch a double crochet in the stitch that we skipped. And that's how your crosses should look. All right, so here's where we stitched, here's where we're going to skip, 
one double crochet in the next two. Moving all the way around our bag. It just gives it a lovely texture stitch in there. I'm going to continue on across here and then when I get back over here I'll show you how to join this row. Once you have finished going all the way around with your cross back stitches and you've made your last cross, you're going to join to the very first chain three. Now remember we crossed a stitch back here, don't join to that one, join to the chain three that was our first stitch with a slip stitch and chain three. Now this next row can be a little confusing to know where to place your stitches because um, the cross stitch row can be a little, just a little confusing, but don't let it get you down. All you need to do is if you look on the top, you can see the braid where all the stitches are. That's our top chain. And so what you'll do is you'll just place one double crochet in each of those stitches. Our chain three counted as the first one, so I'm going to go in the next one and just stitch a double crochet. And we'll do this all the way around this row. It may take you a minute or two longer than the other rows, but you want to make sure that you don't get your stitch count off. If you get your stitch count off, when we go to do another row of cross stitches, your stitches won't work out. So this row is one double crochet in each stitch around. And by doing this, these rows of double crochet in between, I think it really makes the uh, cross back row really look nice. It makes it pop out a little bit. Now I have chosen to do these all in one color. If you would like to do them in different colors, you certainly can, and it might look really pretty to do those cross stitch rows in a different color. Then it would really pop out. So I'm stitching one double crochet in each of the stitches around and then I'll join back to that first chain three. This is how your fifth row should look. One solid row of double crochet above our cross back row. Now for row six, we're going to just do one double crochet in each double crochet around.
So I am stitching one double crochet in each double crochet around my gift bag. And when I get back over to that first chain three, I'll join to the top and then I'll chain three again. And then we're going to do another row of those cross back rows. We completed the sixth row, which was just one double crochet and each double crochet. And now we're going to do another cross back row. So I've already chained three. We're going to make one double crochet and the next double crochet. We're going to yarn over and cross back to the stitch that's right in front of that chain three and finish our double crochet. And then we'll repeat what we did on this row, on this row. So here's the last one we stitched in. We'll skip the next stitch and stitch a double crochet in the next two. Then we'll yarn over and cross back and finish that double crochet in that stitch that we skipped. Here's where we stitched. Here's the one we're going to skip, one double crochet in the next two. Yarn over and finish that double crochet in that skipped stitch. And again, we'll work this all the way around just like we did on the previous cross back row. There we go. So we'll do just like we did on this row, on this row. We'll continue this pattern all the way around and then join back to the top of this chain three. I finished the row of the cross back rows. I'm going to join to the top of the chain three. Now remember, don't join on the cross portion. Join at the top of that chain three with a slip stitch and chain three. Now at this point, we're going to be repeating the two rows and the cross back rows again. As you can see on this one, here's the cross back row and then the two rows of double crochet. Cross back row, two rows of double crochet, and a cross back row. So we're going to repeat two rows of double crochet and then another cross back row and that will get us up to here because on the bag we have one, two, three, cross back rows. So what we need to do is two rows of double crochet and another cross back row. So I'm going to place one double crochet in each double crochet around for two rows and then I'll do another cross back row.
I stitched the repeat rows, two double crochets, and another row of our cross back stitches. And now for the next three rows, we're going to just stitch one double crochet and each double crochet. Here's the last cross back row, and then you'll see there's one, two, three rows of solid double crochets. And that's what we're going to stitch is three rows of double crochet. Stitching one double crochet in each stitch around for three rows. I finished the three rows of one double crochet in each double crochet, and this is the way your gift bag should look at this point. On the last row of our double crochet, we joined just like we have previously with a slip stitch, but instead of chaining three, we're going to chain four. And now we're going to place a triple crochet in the same stitch as this chain four. And this chain four counts as a triple crochet. To stitch a triple crochet, you're going to wrap the yarn around twice. Put your hook through the stitch and pull up a loop. You'll have four loops on your hook. Yarn over, go through the first two, yarn over, and go through the second two, yarn over and go through those last two. That's a triple crochet. All right, now for this row, the way it's going to be stitched is we're going to skip the next stitch and stitch a triple crochet, chain one, and triple crochet in the same stitch. So there's my triple, chain one, and a triple. We'll skip the next stitch and stitch a triple, chain one and triple in the next stitch. We're stitching triple crochet V stitches. And this is the way this row will work. Skip the next stitch, and in the next stitch, we'll stitch a triple, chain one, and a triple. And this is what gives us the ripply top to our gift bag. Skip the next stitch, and we stitch a triple crochet, chain one, and triple crochet. All the way around, and then we'll join to the top of this chain four when we get around there. As you can see, I worked all the way around with those triple V stitches, triple chain one, triple, skipping every other stitch. Now I'm going to join to the top of the chain four with a slip stitch. And then I'm gonna slip stitch right in between those first two triple crochet stitches just to get me in the center 
I'm going to chain four. I'm going to stitch another triple right in that same spot. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to stitch a triple, chain one triple, in the center of each of those V stitches where that chain one space is. So I'm going to go in that chain one space and stitch a triple. I'm going to chain one and then stitch a triple in that same chain one space. So basically, I'm stitching a V stitch that's triple crochet in the V stitch of the previous row. So I'm going to go in that next chain one space, stitch a triple, chain one, and a triple. And we'll do this all the way around for this last row until we put on that fancy trim. So I will be stitching a triple crochet chain one, triple crochet in each of the chain one spaces of the V stitches from the previous row. Working all the way around till I get back to that chain four and then we'll join. And by doing these long triple stitches and how it fans out is what gives the ruffle at the top of the bag when we put the drawstring in it. So I'm going to just keep on stitching, triple crochet, chain one, and triple crochet in each of the chain one spaces all the way around the top of my bag. I finished this last row. I joined to the top of that chain four. And I'm going to cut my yarn because we are done with that portion of the bag. Now, <clears throat> the next thing that we need to do is add the trim. And so I'm going to be using one strand of white worsted weight number four yarn and my fuzzy yarn. Now, if you want to use the um, eyelash yarn, it works great as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to join in both of those, snug everything down, let's pull it to the back, and we're just going to stitch single crochets around the top working in each stitch, and I do recommend that you stitch loosely. So I'm going to go in, I'm going to pull both the loops up, yarn over and go through both loops. And um, just go in, pull up a loop, yarn over, go through both loops. And I give it a little bit of a pull so it's just a little bit loose because we don't want it to be too tight. Nice, loose. And the looser that we make it, the more fuzzy that the trim will look. So I'm just loosely stitching. And if you have a little trouble and you still want to stitch a little tighter, you can always go up a hook size on this particular portion of it 
just to help you not stitch so tightly. There we go. Okay, and sometimes it's a little tight. Get it through both of them. And the reason that I choose to use the one strand of white is that it just helps it hold its shape better and just gives it a little extra um, stability. Just stitching single crochets all the way around the top. And I'll, I'll fuzz it out a little bit and make it look as fuzzy as possible. It just looks so pretty and reminds me of the fur trim on Santa's toy bag. So I'm just going to continue loosely crocheting around the top of my gift bag until I've worked all the way around the top. And like I said, loosely single crochet all the way around. And you can see I'm making nice big loops for the yarn to pass through easily because it can get caught whether you're using the eyelash or the fuzzy. And there's lots of different styles that you can use out there. If you choose to use a different color of fur, make sure that the yarn that you're using matches that fur. If you're using a green or red or yellow or lime green so it looks like a Grinch or something, um, make sure that you use a, a worsted white number four yarn with it that matches that color. So we want it to blend in. So I'm going to continue working around the top of my gift bag until I get back around and then I'll show you how to make the little pom-poms and the tie. So I finished working all the way around my gift bag I'm going to join to that first single crochet with a slip stitch and then I'm going to cut that. Okay, we'll pull that through to the back and then we have a few of our strands we need to weave in and that's why you're going to need your needle. And something that I do is when I'm weaving in the fur trim or the eyelash yarn, instead of going up and down, I'll just whip it through the top of it like this until I run out. Like that. There we go. And I'll do that to these other ones. These all need to be weaved in and I'll do that a little bit later. But right now, what I'm going to show you is how to make the tie and then add the pom-poms to it. To make the tie for the gift bag, we're going to be using two strands of the yarn that we used for the gift bag so that it will match. And we're using two strands so it's a nice sturdy tie. So we're just going to hold them together and make our slip knot. And then we're going to chain 60 chains. And you'll see as you're chaining that this is going to make a nice sturdy tie for our gift bag. Chaining 60 chains gives you about a 24 inch tie. If you want your tie longer, you certainly can chain more. It's um, what you prefer for your bag. I chained my 60 chains and I'm going to go ahead and cut my yarn. Now we don't want the ends of our chain to come out, so I'm going to tie that off and then make a little knot and push it right up on the end of that chain like that. Okay, 
and then we'll go ahead and cut off that end. And we'll do this to the other end where we started as well. There we go. And that's how we make the tie for our gift bag. Now to make the pom-pom, you're going to use the yarn that you used for the top of your bag. If you used the eyelash, you'll use the eyelash. If you used fuzzy like this, you'll use that. And then you'll also need a piece about 12 inches long of just your white or whatever color you're using for your fur. And we'll use this to tie the pom-pom. So what we'll do is we'll just take the yarn that we're using, wrap it around our hand about 10 or 12 times. If you want a really big pom-pom, you can wrap it more. If you want just a small size, you just can wrap it about 10 or 12 times. We're going to take this, let's move our string up and set it right there on our string. And then we're going to tie the string tightly. Now we will not be cutting the strands of the fur because it will come all apart. And so what we'll do, we'll tie that. I usually give it three good ties. And then we'll just pull those loops apart till it's a nice, fluffy pom-pom. All right, we're going to put the tie on first and then we'll attach the pom-pom. So you need to decide on this bag, I put the ties in the front. On the red bag, I put it over on the side. So you have to decide where you want your ties to tie. I'm going to show you on the front. And what I do is on this row, right here where we did our first triple crochet stitches, I find the center and I take my hook and I go in and out backwards. Then I take my chain and I just pull it through. There we go. We pull that ch chain through with our hook and we'll do it again. All right, so let's put our hook through backwards again. So we're just going to go in and out those stitches about every other stitch. Put your chain on and pull your chain through using your hook. There we go. Now we're back to the front and we'll do the same thing. Take our hook. We want it to come out the same hole where we came in on that side and again pull the chain through. All right, so on this one it's going to be the tie on the front. So we'll give it a little pull. Isn't that cute? All right, and then we'll take the two ends and we'll put them together like this and we'll just tie a little knot. I want to try to push those down so the pom-pom will be on the end. And then we'll take our pom-pom that we made and we'll use our crochet hook. And I put one through one side of the chain and the other strand through the other side of the chain. There we go. And I'll just draw it in. Tie a couple of knots. Just like that. Clip those off. And here is our gift bag, all ready to be filled with candy and treats or a pack, little package of cookies, a gift, or to use as a table setting. You just draw it in. You can make a bow.
and your gift is ready to be given.